I got some custom CNC parts in, one that I designed myself, and we're building a new turbo manifold for the GT30 ball bearing turbo. So let's unbox it all. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Matt. I got some new parts in to build another turbo manifold for that GT30 V-Band Turbo that Max Speeding Rod sent us. And, and we're going to top the next one. We're gonna make it mwah, just that much better. Let me show you what we got here. Pow! Let's take a look at what we got here, boys and girls. Got a receipt. Golly, they keep putting my address everywhere. <laughs> so this is from Elmer Racing. Very nice. Well, wow. actually not too heavy. Hopefully this thing fits the turbo. Ah, very smooth. Dang. It's pretty dope. So what I ordered in order to get this turbo on the car, to make my life a lot easier, as I ordered this CNC cut collector, which it has the wastegate port here, similar to how my setup is already with the current manifold flange. Wow, that is some nice machining there, that's for sure. And it wasn't too expensive, it was about $330 plus shipping. The main thing is this tile V-band flange. These are one and a half nominal pipe size, so we should be able to make a manifold quite easily, but let's see if this damn thing fits on this turbo. And, oh! <laughs> Perfection. Oh, this is going to be such a nice manifold and less of a headache to create, that's for sure. Man, that's awesome. The turbo would actually end up sitting this way. Very cool. Wow! The custom flanges, or flange, they might have sent two. They kind of screwed up on one. But the flanges I designed finally came in. So let's crack this sucker open all the way from China. Boy, this stuff comes here fast once they got it shipped. Took like two days. Maybe even a day. Feels like one. I guess maybe they scrapped the other. Hopefully they got this damn thing right. Plenty of bubble wrap. Get this crap out of the way. It's like opening a Christmas gift. Pull it close. <laughs> Ooh, there it is. Oh man, that's sweet. Dang, that's pretty slick. Man, these transitions are nice. So here we are, here is what I designed. And this thing is, you can see that it is pretty beefy. I did a little bit of a, a cutout here. Let me get the camera off the stand and we'll set this thing down, get a closer look. Just look at that boys and girls. Look at that. 
Got my little MC2 logo etched in there. And so I designed this so it would work nicely with some Schedule 10 weld elbows or weld fittings. And I gave it enough meat so that way we have a transition going from the circular shape, which the previous manifold would have had to do is squeeze those things down to kind of fit the port. And which here is the port shape. And you can see just how it gradually blends into that circular shape, which will really help with flow. Man, the machine this nice. It, it looks rough, but to the touch, I can't feel I can't feel that pattern you're seeing there. And I had this kind of subset in there, if you will. Call it what you want. Just to keep the flange not too thick so I can put the bolts on. Make it a little cleaner of a setup. If you're doing a 1.8 Cruise or Sonic, or if you're overseas and you have a Corsa Voxhall or Astra and you want one of these flanges, let me know down in the comments because I do plan on selling these things as is. I'm not quite sure I'll do turbo manifolds for cars. I'll probably just sell that piece because I'm not a fabricator. I do it for fun, but if something like this will help you out, just let me know down in the comments. All right, let's fit this thing up to the cylinder head that's sitting right over there. Make sure it fits. Ah, before we do that, I'm not sure I filmed this. Pretty sure I didn't, but I did order some more weld L's or elbows. Got a fitting for the wastegate, a couple of those fittings. And I'm pretty sure this is going to move a little bit with my current exhaust setup. So got ourselves a three and a half inch 90, gradual 90 here. And all the pieces we need to fabricate a whole another turbo manifold. We've got some of our traditional 90s, a short radius 90. See the difference here. But we've got everything we need here. We've got our CNC collector, which will save me a lot of headache building that. So let's toss this back in the box here. But first thing I want to do is see how my dimensions worked out here. Seems like the dimensions are a little tight. So if I make another one of these, I'll probably make the outer edge of this a little bit bigger. Although I did size this to straight pipe because there is going to have to be a straight piece that comes out and then it will come down. Uh, not that big of a deal. But the biggest deal is whether or not it's going to fit up to the cylinder head. So let's go ahead and finally bring that cylinder head up here. Make sure it fits. All right, moment of truth here. Let's see if this thing fits up. <laughs> it does. Look at that. Isn't that something? And so these ports are a lot bigger. It does look like I could perhaps, let me get these valves out of here so I don't bend one. It does look like I could shift this up a little bit in which, you know, when I was designing this with the guy, kind of messed with my design basically. But as you can see here, my thumb I'm grabbing onto, this is probably about a quarter of an inch so we can always scoot this up, but point is it fits on there nicely. I've got the center bolt here. These will come out by hand. No, I don't want to tear that up, but you get the point. There's, there's one here that locates it. And plenty of meat. I mean, it just goes to show you these ports are pretty dang teeny. So I think it always be opened up a little bit more. Lots of uh, 
lots of real estate to work with there, to be honest. But that's awesome, cool. I'm happy with how that turned out. Oh, that's gonna look so sick. Picture it now, Just picture it now, people. I'm very excited about the, the flange, the way it came out, the CNC collector. Also have this other tool sitting over here that will really help me make this a better manifold helps out a noob like myself or someone that's just inexperienced or not that great at it weld better so we'll touch on that next video and don't forget i'll leave a link down below to a course i'm putting together on building high performance engines to the best of my knowledge and what i do know be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel leave a comment down below let me know what you think and we'll see you next time peace out with your peace out